Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah the Brick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived yesterday evening in the United Arab Emirates to attend the inauguration ceremony of the Louvre Museum after receiving an invitation from the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty was received by Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan Charitable and Humanitarian Foundation and Chairman of Abu Dhabi Sports Council, His Highness Sheikh Nahyan bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The Bahraini Ambassador to the UAE, Mohammed Hamad Al Mauda, and members of the Bahraini Embassy in the UAE. His Royal Highness Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited today the General Command of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF. Upon his arrival, His Royal Highness was received by Commander in Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Al Naimi, and a number of senior officers. His Royal Highness praised the level of combat and administrative readiness and morale of the BDF members as well as their national role in defending the country and its gains. His Royal Highness expressed his thanks and appreciation to the BDF members for their efforts and contributions in maintaining the safety and security of the region, noting that the BDF has become a model of loyalty, sacrifice and efficiency. His Royal Highness was briefed on the strate strategies, future developments and arm armament plans to, the strengthening, to strengthen the capabilities of BDF members and qualify them by providing advanced training and the finest military sciences. They also discussed the latest regional developments and the Commander-in-Chief gifted His Royal Highness the Deputy King with a copy of Khalifa bin Ahmed biography and march in which I reviewed the Field Marshal's contributions to the establishment and development of the BDF. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today held his weekly majlis at Rafah Palace. Members of the royal family, senior government officials, members of the Shura Council and Council representatives, members of municipal councils, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats attended the majlis. The Deputy King welcomed the broad range of visitors at the weekly majlis, which demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by His Majesty's aspirations to maintain a strong bond amongst Bahrain society. The Majlis visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the Majlis and emphasized the important role His Royal Highness plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stated that Bahrain is preparing to host the Ironman 70.3 Middle East Championship on the 25th of February. He noted that the championship represents a challenge for the kingdom and its administrative and organizational caters to continue its successful hosting of the event for the second time. Sheikh Nasser stated that the championship will shed light on the civilizational and developmental achievements of the kingdom. The race will commence at Bahrain Financial Bay and will cover a number of areas that will showcase the rich Bahraini heritage for the athletes. Sheikh Nasser approved the program of the championship as the organizing committee of the race set at the 23rd of November as a date for opening up the exhibition and completing the registration process. The following day, swimming practice events will be held and on Saturday, the 25th of November, the official race will begin at 6.20 a.m. 
The championship will continue until 6.30 p.m., after which the award ceremony will be held. The swimming course will be held in Bahrain Bay for 1.9 kilometers, while the cycling course will extend for 90 kilometers. The race will conclude with a 21.1 kilometer running course. The organizing committee has positioned the race locations in the main historic and cultural locations of the kingdom to acquaint the participants with the rich history and culture of Bahrain, which was one of the main goals behind hosting the Ironman Championship. The Iron Kids and Iron Girl Championships have been launched and will take place on the 24th of November to aspire ch inspire children to exercise and lead a healthy life. A light festival will also be held on the same day, which will highlight the works of talented artists. The Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, today received the delegation participating in the 15th meeting of the High Joint Bahraini Egyptian Military Cooperation Committee in Bahrain, headed by the Assistant Chief of Staff of the Egyptian Armed Forces, Rear Admiral Hussein Mustafa Al Jaziri. In the presence of the BDF Chief, Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Dia bin Sagr Al Naimi, during the meeting, the two sides reviewed the cooperation relations between Bahrain and Egypt and ways of bolstering them to serve the bilateral military cooperation. University of Bahrain UOB and National Geographic Learning, the NGL, a Senge company, opened the first National Geographic Learning Resource Center outside of North America and Europe today. President of Senge International, Alexander Broich, and UOB President Professor Riyadh Hamza led the opening of the center. The National Geographic Learning Resource Center at UOB builds an, exist or an existing partnership based on English language learning for the university's orientation year students. The new center Center is a state-of-the-art facility that enables students to accelerate English language development through a combination of technology and 7,000 new books provided by NGL. The new center represents a significant investment for NGL in Bahrain as it continues to expand its education footprint in the region. Up to 3,000 students daily will have access to the center and its learning resources through a combination of direct access and online platforms. UOB president said that this partnership is a wonderful investment in not just in UOB, but also in Bahrain. He said that through the NGL Resource Center, the students can improve their English language skills and enhance their critical thinking and creativity. Well, first of all, the uh, National Geographic is a brand name uh, worldwide. And to have a center, a learning uh, center uh, at the University of Bahrain, uh, established by them to be the first actually uh, for National Geographic outside uh, the US and outside Europe uh, makes us very proud at the University of Bahrain to have such a, a resource center for, for learning. Um, we are uh, counting that this center will uh, uh, extend, uh, will, um, uh, will be even bigger uh, with time. Uh, our students will be using the resources provided by the center, where it come, when, whether it is uh, e-learning materials, videos, medias, and so on. In addition to the contents of the books, there are 7,000 books uh, also uh, being put uh, in the center. And also the experience of learning about the content learning the content and the knowledge that is uh, provided by these uh, different uh, resource uh, uh, media, if you like. So our students are very excited, our staff very excited. We are excited to have such a center, uh, such a prestigious brand. Uh, comes on campus. This motivates uh, staff, motivates students, motivates the other departments and colleges to seek um, a partnership uh, like that, if, if you like. So uh, this is hopefully will be part of our transformational plan to uh, concentrate and to focus on uh, quality learning and especially that the um, National uh, Geographic uh, resource center will be uh, yes indeed if it is going to be available for all our students but with focus on our foundation year 
Under the patronage of the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the National Oil and Gas Authority, NOGA, inaugurated the Bahraini Canadian Forum, which aims to bolster technical and economic cooperation relations and partnerships with Canada in the field of oil and gas to increase investments in both countries. Canada, which abides by the international standards of environment on environmental conservation, currently witnesses technological and industrial developments, particularly in the field of oil, gas, and petrochemicals. The forum will benefit the national economy and will further strengthen the Bahraini-Canadian relations through joint projects and the exchange of visits of economic delegations from all business sectors concerned with the oil, gas and petrochemicals industry. Uh, we're really excited about uh, coming to Bahrain and exploring opportunities to do business. We've identified this market as a, a nice market to enter in and uh, there's a lot of synergies between Bahrain and Canada and uh, we think this could be a big opportunity for us. We're excited to uh, bring our services and our knowledge to Bar the Kingdom of Bahrain and uh, develop uh, strong relationships uh, to, to grow our, our mutual biz businesses. Channel toward more. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah and let's start with the local stocks. As Bahrain Oil Share Index has closed at 1,266.81 points, marking an increase of 13.74 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks. Investors traded mainly in the industrial sector with 66.63% of total shares. 71 transactions included uh, 2,502,176 shares worth 692,069 Bahraini dinars. The Central Bank of Bahrain CBB has announced that a new issue of 26 million Bahraini dinars Islamic leasing bonds has been covered. The Central Bank announced that it is having issued on the behalf of the government of Bahrain the 147th issue of its kind and will begin on November 9th for a period of about six months ending on May 10th, 2018. The central bank set its interest rate of these permissions at 3% compared to the rate of the previous issue on 12 October of 2.75%. The statement pointed out that the issue was covered at a rate of 121%.